My grandmother and grandfather raised me and they had 13 children. So you can imagine if you come from a large family, what it's like. And daddy was a coal miner. He worked in West Virginia. We, the family lived in West Virginia until they began to close the mines down. So daddy had to move the family back to North Carolina. So we lived in North Carolina and daddy lived in West Virginia. And on paydays, he would, like every two weeks, he would just come back and forth home until he retired. This would be like what the dinner table would look like. You know, we would be done broke all the chairs up. <laughs> and uh, a lot of times we had a bench or I had an uncle, he said, well, do you remember when we used to sit on Coca-Cola crates? Cause the chairs would be broken, there was nothing else. He would always say the grace and it would be like, Gracious Lord, we truly thank you for the food we're about to see, for the nourishment and strength of our bodies. Amen. And then, you know, we would eat, and even if we wanted something, we would say, we would ask them, oh, Mom, can I have another uh, biscuit, please? It was always like that, or would you pass the gravy, please? That's just the way it was at the house. Dee, la dee, la dee, dee, la dee. dee. Boogity bang, 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 boogity bang, bang, bang. And when I, that is where this painting come from. Just thinking about daddy, us sitting around catching lightning bugs. And him, you know, just at home, we call them gunshot houses. Grass, we hardly ever had any grass most of the time. It was just a yard. Mom said, get out there and sweep the yard or something like that. But this is the way it was when I was a little girl. It, where I live, it's always at the bottom of a hill. And you had to climb this steep hill to get back up, you know, with that water and not waste it. Because the rest of the water we had was like rainwater. We had a burrow beside the house. And that's how Mama caught her water, to wash with the drinking water came from the spring. Now, after she got out of her water, she had, maybe it rained, or maybe she had a plenty of water, then she washed clothes. But if she didn't, they went down to the branch to wash. Mm -hmm. And one day, you know, I, I do a painting about big wash day, but some, and I'm a beautician, and some of the ladies said, well, now, if you think that was something, when I was coming up, we had to go to the branch. And you see the way the ladies got their heads wrapped. Well, that's the way I can remember my great-grandmother. And she's got one daughter living. And she still wraps her hair like this. They have long plaits. But when they were coming up, they had a group called the Prip Pilgrim Travel. And I had to, when I was painting this, and I, I was saying, well, where did they hang their clothes? They said they hung the clothes in the trees. And I was asking all kinds of questions, and I said, and, and they had this group, and they were singing. And I had to, it had to take me somewhere in myself to get the feeling, maybe what they were feeling in the woods watching clothes. And they'd probably say, Lucille would start the song, and she'd say, Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Please walk with me while I'm on this pilgrim journey. I And then maybe Eddie would say, now Lucille, what's that other verse that goes with that song? You know, they'd be going back and forth. And, and Eddie would probably say, now I don't know uh, Jay, I don't know her. And Lucille is the one in the group. She had a, ba a bass voice, a heavy voice. And she'd probably, she'd be doing like this. She'd say, you walk with my mother. Walk with me, you know I will. You walk with my mother. Please walk with me while I'm on this, my Lord, pilgrim journey. I 
this pain. I had to get that song inside of me and I had to think about them in their day and having to go to the branch to wash clothes, hang the clothes on the tree, build fires in the woods. And to me, all of that just come together. It made sense. And that's where this painting comes from. But the church would be full of people. And we were so glad to be together. And we'd be sitting on the back row. All the young people would be on the back row. And uh, your parents, they'd be all you know up front. They'd just be. But have, have you ever got this look? They'd be like that and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the most frightful moment of my life. You know, because they'd just do like that. And you know what that meant. <laughs> or if one would do this. <laughs> and that means you come on outside. They would take, I can remember, people would take their kids outside and wear them out. Bring them back in and they would have no more problems out of that child. Never again. <laughs> but, um, but we would be like slipping and talking and you know, in the back and all of a sudden, they would, the old, they would ask everybody to stand for altar call. You said, oh, Lord. That's when you st your stomach begin to churn and butterflies. <laughs> and they would just get, begin to get to singing a song. And they might, uh, now on here, I put, you know, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the time shall be no more. When the, how does it go? If it breaks eternal, something bright and fair. When the chosen ones shall gather on their home beyond the sky, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Oh, they just singing like that. And you would say, oh, they're not going to bother me tonight. <laughs> and then they would keep on, and then they, somebody would start a slow song, like, I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear. My Savior calling, I can hear my Savior calling, take thy cross and follow, follow me. And somebody be standing right there at your seat. <laughs> And your heart would be about to just, you said, Lord, I feel like I'm a fan. <laughs> and, and we all would just start looking like this. And one would just say, I'm going up there. <laughs> all it would take would be one. And one would go up there, and then another. And then they'd start singing like, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust. In the Lord, I will trust in the Lord till I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. And then all of a sudden, we all would be up there on our knees. And all the older saints would be up there praying over us. And they're like, we'd be on and we'd just be looking at each other. And when we got up and we went back home, it's like, Mama, guess what? I got saved tonight. I'm a Christian now. All this would go on. And we, anything she'd ask us to do, okay, Mama. And okay, Mama, whatever you want us to do. We were just good children. And then we would get with our friends, and they would do something. You know our kids do, they do something to you. And then you would say the wrong thing. And they would say, Teresa, I thought you were saved. I said, I am. I am a Christian. No, you're not. You cussed. <laughs> <laughs> and after about three weeks, she was, I, I call it cussing like a slayer. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, Teresa got it together. And she understood that it was amazing grace. 
sing a song. We can do that too. Well, that's the end of my presentation. Can you agree with that? You've done a good job. Thank you. I like doing this. I like singing. I like painting. See my picture? That's pretty. That's good. Mm-hmm. 